With Wimbledon in full swing, all eyes are on the court, not just for the stellar tennis, but for the fabulously fashionable tennis whites. Here with the story of how retro tennis style is crossing over to the mainstream is WSJ Fashion Market Director Rebecca Malinsky. Rebecca, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's start by talking about the controversial Nike dress that's causing some problems on the court. Yes, well, Nike designed two dresses for Wimbledon this season, one for Serena and one for all their other players. And it's having a bit of a malfunction. It, what's happening? Is it flying up? It's for flying some up. Instead of the pleats starting at the skirt, they're starting at the top of the dress, and it's just not tight enough to stay in place when the girls serve. Oh no! And some girls have even claimed the dress got in their the way of their playing. Yes, and some newspapers are reporting it as well. Ah. But Serena's yeah. dress didn't have that problem. It doesn't have different. that problem okay. so far. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Now, you also brought with you some amazing dresses that some other players are going to be wearing on the court. They look mm -hmm. so fashionable, you can wear them on the street as well. Yeah. Um, well, Wimbledon has really strict rules, no more than a centimeter of color. Um, so some of these aren't totally appropriate, but inspired by. Right. But um, we have this dress right here that Caroline Wozniacki will be wearing from Adidas. And that is... That's Wimbledon approved. Wimbledon approved. Beautiful. Now, tell us about the way players feel about this all white rule. Wimbledon is the only, only place they have to do this, correct? It's the only competition on the Grand Slam tour that they have to wear all white. And yeah. the, other, the other Grand Slam competitions can get a little wild. They can get a little wild, as we <laughs> saw at the French Open last month. <laughs> Which is why, the, are the players relieved then to come into this sort of classy, crisp look? Or are some of them annoyed that the regulations are so strict? There have been complaints about how strict, but I can only imagine it feels so great to feel crisp and fresh and ready to go. Well, they look so great. You and I were talking earlier yeah. about how even if you don't play tennis, you want yes, to throw them exactly. on. I don't play tennis, yes. and I couldn't resist. So are a lot of these being designed for streetwear? They're being designed to go from the tennis court to the street. The idea that you don't have to change when you're done playing and you can just go about your day. Because I'm wearing a Tory Birch tennis mm -hmm. outfit, and this is performance wear. I could play on the court. Yes, this, correct? this is her new line, Tory Sport, that is all technically designed. So I wish I played tennis because <laughs> I could use it. Are all of these tennis ready, all of these dresses you brought with you? These are all tennis ready. There's a lot of new lines out right now, like Litoile Sport and Montreal Sport that are being designed with more of a fashion edge, right. but still technically appropriate for tennis. Do players like these? cuter things, do you think? They like these little cuter? Personally, as a player, I do. Yeah. So yeah, I think they do. There's clearly a market for it since so many new brands are popping up. Right, and if we go back yes. and look at some of the great players in the 70s, Chris Everett. Uh, yes, such a dream. Adorable, she looked fantastic on the court. I love how your piece states that she kind of played up the feminine aspect mm -hmm. because she felt that at that time, women were not as respected on the court. No, it, can, it was really intimidating back in the earlier and days. And so she made herself super feminine just to kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah, love her for it. the man, and we love yes. it. And those pom-pom socks, mm -hmm. are those coming back? Where can we get them? Uh, well, I love them, too. Um, <laughs> I had to do a little research, but you can buy them on Amazon. Nike has them, but in their golf section. But they're, they're definitely still there. They're in, I mean, her whole look from the 70s yeah. is now so on point. Mm -hmm. We can yes. wear it today. Yes, yeah, the ribbon in the hair, everything. <laughs> everything. Rebecca, yes. thank you so much for that. Yeah. Let's play a little tennis this weekend. All right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.